we're going to um, go through workflow right now, and you don't have to create them, but yeah, they'll just be kind of created for you by the webmasters, but you do need to know the types of buttons you might see. So nothing really for you to do here. Um, whenever we create new forms, uh, you can go ahead and create a new form, and I'll have you at create event calendars and widgets, but not uh, nothing to do on this one. I am going to uh, show you just kind of where webmasters set things up for you. Let me actually go to view and actual size here. That's a little better. Um, so what a webmaster will do is they will go into this workflows area. They will click into a particular workflow. They will create it for you. I was messing around with this one this morning. And they will create a bunch of workflow steps, right? And then they will step in as either you, a specific person, and be able to see, um, let's see, let me say Joe. Joe, Joe, no, that's Joe. Oh, I can't type. There we go, Joe. And then see, he only has one button. Maybe he's got a limited, very limited role. And then maybe I would go into the reviewer role instead of the user. Oh, uh, reviewer role. And then they can do, they see these five buttons, two at the editing level, two at the review level, one at the legal approval level. And then maybe I would go to the publisher legal, which I know there's a Daniel or Chris publisher. I know he's a user that has a publisher role. He can get it all the way to published, right? And um, so they can step through as any role and see the entire workflow scheme and see who does what, and they can kind of test it. Um, and if they want to, you know, add another step, if they want to drag and drop steps, they can, you know, uh, just grab a, oh, let me reload my page. Uh, so they could drag, grab one of these steps and drag it into another step and, and reuse it and all sorts of really cool stuff for them here. Okay. So um, I'm going to remove that. Hopefully I haven't damaged my workflow and I'm going to <laughs> step in as a limited user. Uh, so do I have the login as role? Let me just make sure that I, as user and admin user, I have the right roles here. I've got the login as a scripting user, CMS administrator. I should be able to log in as Joe. Okay, I think I clicked and I canceled at the same time. Uh, Joe. Now, okay. Well, I will just log out and I will log back in as Joe. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I don't remember Joe's password or Joe's email. There we go. All right. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, he's only a contributor, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay, so documents, um, here is on this content type. This is the type of content he can manage. And, um, then we click add new content. He can still import content. And whenever he comes here to add new content, he only sees one button, right? Exactly as we intended it so he can upload and start a document we'll go ahead and start up uh, uh, geostorm and we'll upload it and some bad movie <laughs> and uh, da, 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 save his draft oh he doesn't have permissions to save to the that hoster folder <laughs> he's a lim very limited user he can save to the resources directory and that's where that those permissions take over, right? Now, once he saves it, in the next step, he does have a send for review, but he really can't kind of uh, do much of anything except assign it to somebody else and say, you know, please, please review and publish for me. Now, there is a setting where we can allow you to assign to somebody who has the reviewer role, but that's not what's set up for him. What's set up is, uh, you know, he doesn't have that option and he just has to assign it to the role. And then everyone who has that role would get an email that Joe 
assign something to the reviewer role. All right, uh, so now I'm going to log in. I think I saved it and sent it to the reviewer. Maybe I didn't. So I'm going to put Jane. Uh, and I don't know her password, so I'm going to have to sign in as me. And I'm just going to step into the, as the next user in the list. Uh, let me first reset Jane's password. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's just Jane at .cms.com. And then Chris to get through everything. Chris Publisher. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Six, save. Okay. And let me try that login as one more time. This this should be working, but either something I don't have set right upright on the permissions. Of, okay, it worked just fine. Okay, maybe his password wasn't originally set up or something. Okay, so I just logged in as Jane. Now by default, we right now have the default going to this new feature that we added because we wanted everybody to look at it, but. Typically, the default page, whenever somebody logs in, is set up to here. Now, apparently, I did not uh, sign that to Jane yet. No, I did not. So let me log out as her. Let me see if now I can log in as log in as Joe. Okay. So now let me go in as Joe and geostorm and send for i guess i didn't ever send i maybe i need send it for review it might be my workflow set up wrong uh please review this please review this and save perfect okay so that should have generated the workflow so log out log in as jane change and then whenever she goes to her workflow tasks there's geostorm the second she logs in and in addition she got an email so if she just opens up her email and she clicks then that'll lead her right here as well once she logs in so then she opens it up then she looks joe contributor did this so this is what he did you can make comments on it here's a preview here's a picture even of the geostorm and here's the metadata of the some bad movie he uploaded so now this is the workflow task that gives me a preview into the content but if jane wants to travel over without knowing where he stored the content or the page or anything else all she has to do is right here from her workflow click edit content now trips her right into that content and you notice it says task detail over here that's a bug it's gonna slowly update <laughs> i put it in that they need to flush the cache whenever we reload this it should have updated already huh. anyway but it's it's just a cosmetic thing uh whenever i save whenever she looks here she's looking at his content and she has her options because she's a higher level user so she can send to legal he couldn't the only thing he could, as far as he could get it is sent for review so she can lock it for editing she can make changes to it or she can release that lock and then move it on to legal. Now she also does not have permissions to assign it to a specific person who has the publisher legal role, but she can get it to publisher legal, whereas Joe could not. Um, so um, ready for publishing and say, but yes, I certainly could have set her up that way. Um, and now I'm going to log out as her. I'm gonna log in as Chris, log in as Chris. Hmm, if I could spell. Okay, so I log in as Chris. He goes to his task. He sees Geostorm and a whole heck of a lot of other stuff that people have assigned to him. He clicks here. He says, okay, he can immediately do things. He can immediately publish it or do just what you asked for, return it back for edits. This thing stinks. He can assign it to other, you know, to people if he wants to um, and make comments to it, right? Um, or he can publish it. So I just published it from my 
uh, workflow. Oh, it looks like it's still locked by Jane. Oops, that workflow was set up bad. The workflow step needed an unlock once she sends it for review. So I'll have to log out. I should modify that workflow. It was just whoever set it up for the demo didn't set up the workflow with an unlock. Um, that little send for review. Where in the heck is send for review? Uh, send for review should have had an unlock content there. Maybe I step back into it after I went ahead and click that. Uh, or send to legal. Hmm. It does have it there. So, I don't know. Maybe I looked at it after I went ahead and sent it on to legal. I'm not sure. But, um, so, maybe I did as an admin. So, I'm going to force my unlock here. And uh, I'm going to go to login as Chris. Now he should be able to manipulate it. Mm -hmm. Chris Publisher, change. And he can go to content or his, you know, content search manager. And now he should be able to publish it. And that publishes the content and also clears out that workflow task. Um, but he could still see it by going not in his workflow task. He could go to documents. He could see Geostorm. And then he could lock for it. Is there anything else? Just republish? Oh, that's pretty boring. <laughs> okay, so he can make more changes and republish. But we could go into the workflow and make it more exciting. Okay, so I'm going to log out as him. You can do all sorts of powerful things like push to production server, you know, and then there's two different types of push that you might see. It's they, they can set it up to so push now and they pre-configure which environment it automatically goes to. They can give you a push publish that whenever you click on it, then it gives you the option to choose which environment you're trying to push publish to. We can send emails automatically using a send emails action. There's a four eyes approval. There's mul require multiple approvers specifically by name or role. Um, set a velocity variable value on the content. You can even Google translate content into whatever languages you have configured with one click on one button. And all you have to do is supply the service API key for the Amazon translation service or the Google translation service. I actually have that working on my wife's site so that it auto translates to for English or Spanish, regardless of what language they start typing the property in. The translate content has its own workflow action that has a review step right after you translate. So it's a translate and don't publish until it makes through through the review step. Now, you are right that if my users click on the translate, send it over to the reviewer, and then the reviewer just goes, ah, I don't want to read this. Let me just publish it anyway. <laughs> then Google Analytics, you know, Google Translate will be controlling the website. But it, the workflow is set up to translate and send to reviewer. You know, and then the reviewer is supposed to be doing their job. <laughs> if people don't want to do their job, that's a different thing, you know. So whoever you have as a translation service, we can send an email with the content as an attachment or whatever, however they need to see it. And this is the most extended piece of .CMS is these workflow sub actions. So it's super easy to for a Java developer to get in and say, okay, I want to custom whatever. Like I said in that uh, video I sent you yesterday, it had the recipe um, inbound marketing thing on YouTube. So if you just did inbound marketing and on .CMS and YouTube, um, then you'd be able to uh, see that I I install a custom sub action uh, that says send to Salesforce during that webinar i'm doing it live and it's all real it's not uh, in any way faked um and i send a user over to salesforce as a custom sub action i deploy it use it send it go log into salesforce and see the user over there so you can do super powerful stuff so whatever you guys need to do or integrate with some other system you can actually do it and send things over from from your workflow